Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 14, lesson 5, measure angles. Page number is 899. Before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, let us start today's lesson. Uh, the protector is a tool I showed you in the last lesson. This is a protector. It's a half circle. We have from 0 to 180 degree. Okay. So this is a tool with which we measure the angles. Okay. So uh, the first example here, look at this one guys. Our line is in this direction. So we will use this side 0. Okay. So the, the baseline, this is an end point where the two um, rays are meeting. So we always put this end point here in the middle. Let me show you in the bigger picture here on this one. Always we put the end point on this one. Okay. So, uh, so we'll put the end point here and this line the bottom line always on the zero always on the zero okay the bottom line always on the zero even if the bottom line is tilted wherever we will we will match this line with the baseline okay and with this line we will see that what is the angle what is the actually angle we will count from zero if we are starting from here on this line we start from this zero and measure towards here and if our line is on this direction we'll start from this zero and measure it towards here okay so here they are showing you guys the first one they put the protector here okay on the zero the baseline on the zero and the second one they check that it is 70 degree so they wrote it here the measure of the angle is 70 degree let us move to the next page here this one now now you will put the zero at uh, the middle point of the protector here this one middle point and this line this zero it will come on this one and then you will check where is the angle if the straight one is 90 it must be more than 90 it is 125 okay again this one is easy you'll put the protector it's 100 degree this one you'll put the protector on this line the zero will be here on this line and this is 75 degree okay for this one you have to tilt the protector let me show you how you have to move the protector like this okay so you will put the middle the end point here on this zero and then you will check that this is 45 degree okay let us move to the next page this one is very simple you will put the protector and check it is 60 degree 130 degree okay this is on this direction now so you will you will use this the, the left sided zero Okay, you will put this line on zero and this one will show you that it is 30 degree. Okay, for this question, you have to put your protector in this way. Let me show you. Yes. Okay, so you will use this zero here of this side and the down straight 90 degree. The same again, you'll put the zero on this line and this one 67 degree zero on this line and 65 degree you'll put the zero on this line and you will check that this is 45 degree okay this is just a straight line so if you see in a half circle you have 180 degrees this is straight line if you start from zero and you will see that you reach at 180 degree so the uh, if you see a straight line that is 180 degree okay uh, 
which exercise shows figures with at least one acute angle you know that acute angle is less than 90 so 10 yes it is 44 less than 90 uh, yes 9 and 8 less than 90 okay so 8 9 and 10 they are acute angles okay let us move to the next page Terrace has a square picture frame uh, we know that if it is a square okay let me draw it for you here I told you guys in square we have 90 degree here 90 degree here 90 degree here and 90 degree here you can put your protectors on all these four sides and check it is 90 degree so they're saying is it 90 or 145 of course it's 90 a square has four angles that each measure 90 degree let me erase the screen okay here guys this one uh, they found the half of it not exactly half some of it 20 degree and they want you to find the remaining one so what you guys will do first put the protector on this point this line on zero okay and you will check that this line is on what degree so you will find that it is on 53 degree so the total from this line to this line it is 53 degree so you will minus 20 degree to find this one this part which is 33 degree okay the same thing again here you will put the zero on this line and measure it till here it will show you 170 degree so the total this red line total is 170 if you minus this part which is 40 you will get the remaining one which is 130 degree okay i hope you guys understand the lesson and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video have a nice day thank you so much